is Babakama Daf Ayin, Babakama Daf Ayin. We're going to start on the bottom of 69B, three lines from the bottom. It says, Ravina, Rabba, Rabbi Yochan, and Sinuin, Rabbi Dosa, and Rabbi Dabra Echa. We're not from the fact that Rabbi Yochan said that Sinuin, the author of the mission, was Rabbi Shimon Lomuyo, who said that the, the modest people would, would say at the end of the day, anything that was collected, we are actually deconsecrating, so people want to correct it by mistake, but not for the fact that he said that he and Rabbi Dosa said the same thing. Have Amina, I would have said, Man Tana Tzimun, who is the author of the Tzimun? That's Rabbi Dosa. We look at the Tikshi Stam Mishnah Rabbi Yochan, so we don't, so we wouldn't have a question, but Rabbi Yochan seems to contradict the anonymous Mishnah. Rabbi Yochan is the Stam Yechidah Lo Amas. We wouldn't have to say that Rabbi Yochan holds like an individual position. Amin Nardai, so the Nardai taught on top of Ayin Amin Amin we don't write an uh, orchata as a power of attorney on movable objects. What's the reason why we don't do this? I'm only to Rabbi Yochanan. Because of the stimulus of Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan said, Gezo, if somebody robbed something, one is Yashua by them, and the owner is not giving up hope. That both of them are not able to give up, uh, are not able to consecrate it. One, because it's not his, because this person who robbed, he doesn't own it yet, because the other person didn't give up hope. And the other one, but it's not in this domain. And we see that if it's not in your domain, you cannot, uh, you can't, you can't make decisions about it. And so therefore, you can't appoint a power of attorney over Metalton, because that's considered a movable object. We could the Amin alternative version is Amin Ardai, Locus Vinan Orkata Metaltoli, that you don't appoint a power of attorney on movable objects and uh, decoffly. That where a person has gone to court and denied it. Time of the coffee, the reason why you can't appoint it is because he denied it. The milkshake is stick like it looks like he's he's lying. He'd say if the person if the person comes and claims his deposit and 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 the court believes him and he denies it. Because it looks under those circumstances, Rashi said that that he's signing on something false because he appointed a shliach uh where he's not there. But of a low cost, right? But if we wouldn't have denied it, Casvino, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to appoint him a power of attorney, even though it's a movable object. I mean, our guy, Orkata, the low Sivbe, Zil Don, Vizaki, the office in action, and uh, any power of attorney where we don't say, go and and judge it, bring it to court, and go and take the money for yourself, based by Mashasha, we're not going to give it any value. Why? My time, Mishum the Amrwe, because the person who's the other litigant can say, I have Rav Bob Von Didiak. You don't have standing. You're not my fellow litigant. You can't. You can't make this case. I'm Rabbi. Rabbi taught the eat kisiv day the mechsel shlishu revia. If the person says you're going to get half or a third or a fourth, neither the mishtai dina palga mishtai dina kula. So, but if he says we're going to get a half or a third or a fourth of the of the process, since he's getting a part of it, so therefore he's once he's getting a part of it, he's able to bring the whole the whole case to court. In fact, if he seizes it, if the person who has the power of attorney seizes it, we're not going to, uh, to to take it away from him. And even though it doesn't say, take it out for yourself, Rashi says, he's not, we're not going to take it take it away from him under those circumstances. Rashi Amar, given the Kesvalei, called him a Tanim and Dina, Rabbi Salai. So Rashi taught that since since he writes for him, says says Rabbi Ashi, since he writes for him, to the agent called him Atani Medina Kabila so I accept upon myself all the expenses that you're going to have in the in the Baldin. He appointed him as an agent, and so therefore he's not going to be able to bring the other no, he's saying he takes upon himself all the expenses, so therefore. He's made him a partner for for only a partner, but not the entire thing. But my you know, nafka, what's the difference? What's the distinction? The mitzvah's palga, whether or not he can he can take half of it. According to the you could the Amri, then he can take take half. But according to the first approach, he can't keep any of it. So we point him a shiach, so therefore he can't actually take any of it. And then the Gemara Mishnah says, Ganav al pishnayim. We're going back to the case of a person who takes a spear a sheep or an ox. And then slaughters it herself. And he gets four or five times the amount. But the Mishnah is now going to delineate this case. God of Alpishnaim, let's say he steals it on the basis of two witnesses. And then he slaughters their cells on their basis. Or I'll be on the, same, on the basis of the same two witnesses. Or I'll be on the basis of two other witnesses. Misham says, Shumi Arab of In both those cases, he pays four or five times the amount. Let's say he steals it and sells it on Shabbos. And Rashi points out, but he didn't 
slaughter it on Shabbos. Because if he's slaughtered on Shabbos, he'd be liable for death. And so then we'd have the principle of Kimle and he wouldn't, we wouldn't get any, we wouldn't pay the monetary penalty. We'd only get the more severe penalty of death. But in this case, he just stole it and sold it on Shabbos. Ganav Mafar of Ozar, he sold it, stole it and sold it for idolatry. Ganav the Tabak, the Yamakikur, he stole he stole it and slaughtered it on Yom Kippur. Rashi says that's Kari, so you don't get apply the principle of Kimli Bidiramine. Ganav Marshal, Ganav Mishal Avi, Vitavach, and Machar, let's say he stole it from his father, and then he, after he stole it from his father, he then slaughtered it and sold it, and then his father died. And so basically, and so basically under, under those circumstances, uh, he's going to pay four or five times the amount. But Rashi says if his father died and then he slaughtered and sold it, then he would be potter because he's an inherited father and so he stole it from himself. Not, let's say he stole it and he slaughtered it and then he consecrated it. Then he does pay four or five times the amount because he, he was mocked after he did it. Once he stole it and slaughtered it for dogs or for medicine, or Hashoka and him to a stray for if he slaughters and he discovers it's a stray for or Hashoka pull and bazaar in case he slaughters the fool and the unconsecrated in the courtyard. Masham to show me our reformation. All those cases you don't pay four or five times the amount. Rabbi Shimon Potter was the Shnei Eru. Rabbi Shimon Potter in these two cases in the case of stray for and cool one in the courtyard. Why? Because Rabbi Shimon's in a position that since it was a shlita that was not a kosher shlita, it's not called a shlita. And so therefore he didn't slaughter it. But with for dogs or for medicine, that was a valid shlita because if he wants to, he can eat from it. Lema Masnisa in our Mishnah is the local Rabbi Akiva. says it says Al Pishnai Meidim in the Akum Davar. It's in the base of two witnesses. You should establish something. But these witnesses to the slaughter, it says in Mishnah, on the base of the witnesses to the slaughter, but not the witnesses to the theft. That's only half of what they're testifying. So the Akiva would say it's not a valid testimony. Or, but our mission says he'd still be liable on the basis even of the split of testimony. It's a Rabbi Yochanan ben Miri, Rabbi When Abba Chalafta went to Rabbi Yochanan ben Miri to study Torah, Amr Allah Rabbi Yochanan ben Miri, it's our Abba Chalafta on top of Ayan of the Bays. Amr Allah, he said to him, Arisha, Akhla Hashem Arisha. And then this is the case of a Chazaka, that you have to have a Chazaka, you have to have a Chazaka. How do you establish a Chazaka in the land? There are witnesses that testify that you lived on that land for three years and nobody made a claim against it. So it's a very shall show that. You had the first, you, you established the first year <laughs> in front of two witnesses. Shniya Bifne Shnaim, the second year in front of two witnesses. Shlisha Bifne Shnaim, the third one in front of two witnesses. Ale du Tazaka. That is a presumptive status that you own the land. So Amaroi responds, Afani American. I would also say that, that you established the Chazaka, even though there's three sets of witnesses for each year. Elisha Rabbi Akiva Cholik with Davar. Rabbi Akiva argues. Rabbi Akiva Omer Davar will chazi Davar. You have to have the whole testimony and not part of the testimony. In this case, in the Chazaka, you're combining three different sets of witnesses, so it's no good. So Rabbi Akiva argues with our mission. So the Gemara says, "Excuse me." Gemara says, "A few time Rabbi Akiva, Milo Rabbi, Milo Moda Rabbi Akiva, Beshnei Mo." Kidesh, Mishnah, Omer, and Baal, they say, you can even say that our mission is like Rabbi Akiva. Wouldn't Rabbi Akiva agree in a case where two witnesses said that he married her, that she's a married woman, and then two witnesses said that she was engaged in adultery? Even though the witnesses to the Bia, even though the witnesses to the, to the uh, sexual relations, even though they're also, these were requiring to have two other witnesses to say she was married, keeping the AD Kedushin, that forgot the AD Bia, Trichel AD Kedushin, but since keeping the AD Kedushin with Trichel AD Bia, since the witnesses to the Kedushin don't require the AD Bia, therefore, Davar, so we know, we're going to say it's a complete testimony. Hachinam, in this case, also, I forgot the AD Kedushin, Trichel AD Kedushin, even though the witnesses to the slaughter require the witnesses to the theft in order for them to be liable for four or five times the amount. Since the witnesses to the theft do not require the witnesses to the slaughter, we're going to call it a valid, a complete testimony. Whereas the Rabbanon, the Rabbanon who say that it is not a the Rabbanon, according to the Rabbanon who disagree with Rabbi Akiva and say you don't need the complete witnesses 
to testify. They say as long as you have three sets of witnesses, it's valid, if to, one for each year. If that's the case, according to the Rabbanon, what's coming to exclude? Unless it's a mute, echad omer, echad the dabav, echad omer, echad the Where they want to testify that a girl has reached the age of maturity, and in order to do that, she needs two hairs. So one says, I saw one hair on one area, another area, another area. We, we're, we're going to say, in that case, we're going to say, we're going to say, in, in that case, uh, uh, we're going to say, and in that case, we're going to say it's a mute. It's going to exclude that case. If there, it's not going to be a valid valid testimony. So the nurse says, why are you saying that? We have that half testimony. We have one testimony on one air, one testimony on the other air, but we can't combine them. They're two separate two separate parts. It's not chatsi devar. So it's to mute, it's to exclude shnayim omrim echabekabav, shnayim omrim echabekreza. She needs two hairs. And two women to testify in the hair in one case, and two women to testify in the hair in that case. We won't say that that's not a valid testimony. Ani amri ketani, ani amri ketani, because each one is saying that she's a minor, and so therefore they're really saying the exact same testimony, and that's not a valid testimony. Nora says, Dan of the b'shabbos, if he stole it, and he and they sold it on Shabbos, we're going to say yes, pay four or five, five times an ounce. Remember, it's like about Tanya Paka, but we say in a different case that you don't pay four or five times an ounce, that you're exempt. Then Rami Barachama, Kitanya, he, the Paka, where the Tanya say is exempt? The Omaro, Okitz, Te'ene, Mitan, we say, the Tikni Lake, and you say, he says, rip up a fig from my fix, tear out a fig, and when you do that, as, as basically that action, you're going to acquire my, my, the thing that I stole. That's where the case is, your partner, because the very action of the sale is violating the Shabbos. So you're going to be liable for the violating the Shabbos and not liable for the theft. Amri, even the Kitab away, come on, Badina. The Gemara says, Badina, understand that. <laughs> Since if, you would, if she would come and make the claim in front of us in the court, if the person would come and make the claim, wouldn't we say to him, in that case, so it says the Gemara, since under that case, what's the reason why in that case you're not going to be liable four or five times now? Because since when you were, the Gemara says, if you're the Tavali, come on, Medina, I'm really like the Oshale. And the Gemara says that since if the person will come to the court and, and say, give me back the fig, we, would, we wouldn't say to the fig, give him back the fig, the fig to Machai ben Ashley, because he's liable for violating his job. If he's liable for death, I'm a fear and I'm a lot of So therefore, this sale should also. Not be a valid sale. So the Gemara rejects that possibility. So the Gemara therefore says, El Amar Papa, what are we talking about? But Omar was broke in the name of He says, Throw your, throw your, the thing you stole into my courtyard. The Tikkunay Gnevo Sech. And therefore, when you throw it into my courtyard, thereby violating the Shabbos, now, then you'll, uh, then you're going to acquire the thing that I stole. Because since in the very action of acquiring it, you're throwing it into the courtyard. And so therefore, you're violating Shabbos, so you're exempt from the penalty. The Lord says, Come on, this is like Rabbi Akiva, who says, that once it reaches the airspace, then we're going to say, you're liable, even before it lands on the ground. Because it's for the Rabbanon, keeping the not do a chatzar, basically, once, it, once, excuse me, just the opposite. According to the, according to the Rabbanon, you'd be liable for violating the Shabbos once it reaches the airspace. And the Indian Shabbos, lo mechayev ademadja. Means say, according to the Rabbanan, you'll be you'll be acquiring it once it reaches the airspace, but you're not going to acquire, but you're not going to violate Shabbos until it hits the ground. So therefore, how can you say that it's just like Rabbi Akiva now, it's like the Rabbanan? The Gemara says no. The Omer wrote tikni uchakini v'seich achet tikni. Say you don't acquire it until you actually hit the ground. The Rabbah says no. Well, Olam karami barachama. You could say that the Brisa that says that your partner is like Rabbi Barachama because. When he, what he's going to say is Eskenazar Torah Vafilu Baalimo because the Torah says that you're going to be liable that that if a person uh, pays a she the Gemara basically if the case is that if a person even has relations with his mother but he had hired to be a prostitute that's considered a prostitute and you're not going to and you're not going to be able to bring that sheep that you paid your the mother who was a prostitute. To the courtyard, because even if it's his mother, the Gemara says, "The Itav will come on Medina." But if she will make a claim, for the mother will make a claim for the payment in the court. 
Does the mother make a claim? Me, I'm reading away. Quim Avalas. Do we? Would we say give her the payment? Of course not. Now Avalas the key. Avalas the dina. Law may not zil zil Avalas. Avalas came in the key. Avalas Avay Esman. Even though she would make the claim, we wouldn't give it to her since he gave it to her. It's the Esman. How can Avi Avalas the lenient the shuman? Even with respect to compensation, he tells her, but Dina, come on, well, I'm in a way, Zilsha. I mean, if she would ask for the fig, we wouldn't give it to her. I feel like I keep on to come back to labor, okay, I've been here. Since he used the fig as a way of acquisition, it's a valid, the valid acquisition. If we will stop here, the noise you're in the background shouldn't bother you because that's the noise. What should bother you? That's the noise of children who were displaced from their homes because of a terrible attack.